Hi there everyone, welcome to another day in my year-long inventory process. <laughs> Just kidding. This is day two out of what will probably be at least six days of inventory videos between my beauty, um, like my skincare, hair care, body care, and cosmetics. So in the first video, I talked about my um, foundations and primers. So if you missed it, I'll try to remember to link it in the eye and it'll also be on the in slate. So that video turned out way longer than I was anticipating. It was basically an eye opener for me. So I know that these videos are going to be a little bit longer, but if you're like me and you're a total geek, then I don't mind watching these videos. I also have my glasses on. <laughs> so sorry about that, but I have to be able to read. Um, and I haven't been wearing them all day and my eyes are really bothering me. Blah, 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 blah. Concealer and setting spray. Um, I actually have more concealers than I do foundations. And I think that's because I've never really found the absolute perfect one or I hadn't. Um, I feel like I have some pretty good ones that I enjoy, but I never really... It's kind of like with foundation, I was on the hunt for a specific type for my skin and um, my areas, etc. So it is what it is. Like I mentioned in the last video, and I'll continue mentioning, there's too much shame in the painting community. I have no shame in my collection. Um, I'm only sharing because, like I said, I'm a, I'm a geek. I know a lot of people enjoy these kinds of um, videos, but I just watched Paula from A Beauty Guru Made Me Do It do um, a, pro a video where she has more than one of the same product or something like that and she basically spent the first couple of minutes of the video like explaining what she didn't want to see in the comments and a lot of them were like you should give this away, you know, you should sell it, blah 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 blah. So I, I know I, I just I don't think makeup should be shameful. I just don't think anything that brings you joy should be shameful. So that's my high horse. It's probably going to be on every single video that you see from me. <laughs> but yeah, so today we're going to talk about concealer and setting spray. I'm going to share with you how many I have of each. And then I'm also going to share with you um, the retail dollar amount in US dollar, Canadian dollar, Euro, Australian dollar, and the pound sterling. So let's start with concealers. I have 45 of them. <laughs> 45 concealers. Several of those are in palettes, which I will also be showing and sharing with you. But just cream and liquid concealers, I have 45 of them. In US dollars, that is a retail value of $431.97. And as I've mentioned before, I rarely pay retail price for makeup. I like to buy with sales and like to buy with coupons. So there's probably one or two things in my collection that I wasn't able to get some kind of discount. I mean, hell, even that Celestial Divinity palette that I just got from Pat McGrath, I got 10% off. Is it a whole bunch? No. But is it off? Yeah. <laughs> So in euros, that is three hundred sixty-four fifteen. In Canadian, no, in Australian dollars, that is six o five seventeen. Canadian dollars, it's five sixty-seven o five. And then in the pound sterling, it's three thirty-one thirteen. So you guys win on the conversion rate. Good job. So, and again, I will take you over to my craft table and I will walk you through every single one of the concealers that I have in my possession. As far as setting sprays, I only have, I only have 21 and actually I finished one today. So one of the Tarte ones I finished, um, these numbers may not be exact. Like this is literally sitting right in front of my face. You've already seen this haul. This was in an Ulta haul, like my last haul video. And I hadn't even put it in my, um, spreadsheet and then I noticed that I have a couple of face palettes in like blushes and highlighters which actually should have gone in um, a face palette so these numbers may change once I go through my inventory and make sure everything's where I want it where I've documented it 
Um, as of right now, I'm not setting any goals on what to use up in this inventory because I'm still planning on what I want to pan in 2021. But this is just a way for me to keep track. So these are going up in November, so I'll probably do an update either in April or May. We'll see um, just what I go through. But it's a lot of makeup and it's taken me a long time to get through it, but I also want to be a bit thorough with it with you as well. And like I said, I have 21 setting sprays for a US retail value of 221. I don't know if that's on the dot or not. That's what I wrote down. In um, euros, that's 183.60. In Australian, that's 309.61. In Canadian, that's 290.11. And then in the pound, it's 169.41. So let's head over to my craft table and I will show you um, everything that I have. Don't forget that you can also check out my Instagram, which will be in the description box below, which is Misty Pans, Totes Original. But in the, in, on, bleh, on Instagram, I have flat lays of all of the um, products that I'm showcasing here, and those have probably already gone up. Maybe they've already gone up. I haven't taken them yet. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm hoping that those go up before the videos do. If not, they'll go up around the same time. And I will have this information with that as well. Let me set that down before it drives me crazy. So yeah, so let's head over to the craft table and I will show you all of my concealers and all of my setting sprays. Okay, so let's start with my least expensive and most expensive um, setting spray, just like I did my foundation and my primer. So my least expensive, as far as I know, is this one from Shop Miss A. This is just their regular setting spray. This is their A plus um, charity line. So I think this was a dollar eighty-eight. So it was either a dollar fifty-five or a dollar eighty-eight. And then my most expensive <laughs> are these three from Tarte. From what I understand, these small ones are like 14 bucks. I actually just finished this one today. This is the Stay Spray. I actually really love this. Thought it worked well, really enjoyed the smell, um, but I think this is like $14. I could be wrong. I'll double check. Um, but when I was looking, I'm pretty sure this was like 14 bucks. This one is the Rainforest of the Sea. I am just about out of this one too. I don't really care for this one. And this Ready Set Radiant, I actually haven't tried yet. I'm not even sure if I, I don't think I bought this. I think this came as part of a set. So those are the three um, most expensive. Mine, uh, oh, and this one. This is the Truffle Therapy Skin & Co. Um, radiant Dewy Mist. To me, this isn't radiant. I've been using this as kind of like a primer mist. This is actually in my current... Um, roulette pan collab as from something I only have one from the brand and I've made it um, a goal to use down here so I'm making pretty good pro progress again I don't notice that this is radiant like I don't see my skin or radiant when I'm done but um, yeah it's supposed to be then the ones that aren't radiant <laughs> uh, let's see and this one is the NYX Bear With Me. This is Prime Set and Refresh. Um, this is a multitasking spray. It doesn't claim to be radiant or dewy. It's just a regular old primer spray, primer, uh, like a primer water. The ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist. This also doesn't claim to be luminous. I actually had to declutter or throw away. I hate the word declutter. I had to throw away the primer because it separated and I couldn't get it to go back together for nobody's business. So um, this is also not not dewy or not and not marketed. The Maybelline Master Fix, I think I mentioned in my last video that I had tended on doing a full face of Maybelline products and then just decided that I didn't want to. Um, I really only care about their foundations for the most part. Some of their powder products and their lipsticks are okay, but the rest, and some of their um, mascaras, of course. So I just didn't, I don't know, it just didn't appeal to me anymore. But I went ahead and kept the um, spray, and again, this is just um, long lasting. This one from LA Girl. This is one full ounce. I don't know if this is a mini or what, but it's also, again, not radiant or dewy. 
This one from Milani, this Make It Last. Let me zoom in a little bit. This is the Make It Last. This was free with the purchase. Um, this is a really good setting spray. It says 16 hour wear, but I think you can even get it even longer. This really reminds me of the Urban Decay um, All Nighter, which is no longer in this, but this is actually one that I finished this year, but my Elf Dewey broke, so I just stuck it in this all-nighter bottle <laughs> so also not dewy and then this one from wet n wild is just a natural finish this is the photo focus natural finish setting spray it doesn't it doesn't seem to change um this like the finish of whatever you've put on underneath it it's just a regular setting spray the rev the rest of them are very dewy <laughs> So, like I mentioned, this was an e.l.f. dewy spray. This is one that was in the long, tall one. Not the short, squatty one, but this was a long, tall bottle. My sprayer never worked. So, I put it all in here. I have two of the Make It Dewy. Pretty sure I bought the full-size one on my own. And then, again, Milani always has free gifts over spending so much money on their site. And I probably got blushes and highlighters and enough setting spray from them to last the rest of my life. But I really do enjoy both of these. They're very pretty without looking um, like glitter exploded all over your face. The one that makes me look like glitter exploded all over my face is this Radiant Finish one from NYX. You have to shake the absolute tar, tar out of this or you're going to end up with um, bronze splotches all over your hand. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be all over your face. Um, if you don't shake it, you're going to ruin your makeup. So if you own that one and you haven't used it, or if you weren't aware, make sure you spray it. I mean, make sure you shake it. Um, some other ones. This is the one I'm currently working on also. This is the Revolution Hyaluronic Fix. Oh, this one over here. This is not dewy um, whatsoever. It's just a regular regular spray. Do you guys want to see samples of these? I don't think you probably do. <laughs> let me not do that. If you do want samples, then let me know and we'll consider it. So um, I have two foam flowers. So they originally came out with this one. This is the Seal the Deal Hydrating Setting Spray with a dewy finish. And they actually came out one with that's illuminizing. And you can see where the spray and like the illumini, illumini, illuminator is different. And this one, again, you have to shake to combine. This is actually really, really, really pretty. Um, it's pretty in the bottle and it's pretty on the skin. Um, two other ones that are really pretty. This is the makeup primer spray. This is the jasmine scent from JCAT. Um, I don't, is this not dewy? I think it is luminous. Maybe it's not. This smells amazing. Um, and I really like the way it feels on my skin. Um, this one is Selfie Ready Dewy by JCAT, or not JCAT, Joa. Um, also really, really pretty, really, really love it. This is the e.l.f. Um, Another Glow. It's a dewy mist. This is the one with coconut and argon oil. I haven't used this one yet, so I, could, I can't tell you whether it's good or not. Um, actually, I should have done that. So this is brand new to me. Um, this, which is the um, Shake and Glow Dew Mist by L'Oreal Lumi. You guys know if you saw my first video that I love the Lumi um, Glotion for underneath my skin. That's also one that I haven't tried. I think that's it for what I haven't tried. Yeah, I've tried the rest of them. So just these three haven't been on my face. Um, the last two, this is the Hydrate and Fix Radiant Makeup, Makeup Fixing Spray from Makeup Revolution. I really like it. I just put this one on hold because I'm just about, I'm going to finish this before that ends up. So maybe even before the month is up because there's not a whole much left. But I, like I mentioned, I love Revolution um, products. They do have some um, dewy or luminous setting sprays that have way too much glitter, but I don't find that to be the case with these two. And then last but not least for setting spray, this is the Paradise Set from BH Cosmetics. Um, the day I'm filming this, my BH Cosmetics video went live if you're the least bit interested in hearing what I have to say about BH Cosmetics. So yeah, so this is brand new to their line. They have three of them. I know they have this luminous, I think they have a matte one and then I think they just have a regular one. 
So that is every single one of my um, setting sprays. So my most expensive setting spray was the that Truffle Therapy, which was a retail value of $35. And the closest one after that is that L'Oreal one for $14.99. My most expensive concealer, um, Tarte. This is the Creaseless Concealer. That one's $26. Uh, the Jouer Essential High Coverage, $22. The Beauty Bakery Instant Bake is $20. The Rare Beauty, I actually have this one and then I have one that I'm using as a bronzer. Those were 22. Is this Juvia's place not? No. And then, wait, where's the cargo one? You know, I don't think I have the cargo one on here. I don't, I'll have to add this cargo one, but I have this one um, that is probably Let's see, Cargo Jet Lag Concealer. Cargo Jet Lag Concealer. Looks like it's, you can get it for $20 on Walmart. So we'll just call this $20. So those are, my most expensive concealers. And then my least expensive is my Shop Miss A. This is the AOA Studio. It's $8.55, you guys. <laughs> no lie, like no lie. I'm giving it to you straight. Out of all 45 concealers that I own, this is probably one of my most favorite. This is beautiful, it's $1.55. I have it in porcelain, which is unfortunately is the lightest shade, but it's so beautiful. And um, I also love this Tarte one, this Jouer one I bought because of Kathleen Lights. She was a liar. This Beauty Bakery one, I need to wear, this is one another one of those that I need to wear again, um, along with the Rare Beauty. I think the only one I haven't tried is this Cargo one, and then a couple of other these other ones that are actually more color correctors than um, concealers. But I don't know, this this Insta Bake and this um, Rare Beauty one I need to try again. The first time I wore the Rare Beauty, loved the foundation. I didn't care for the concealer. So um, those are definitely two that I'll be trying out again. And again, I have a darker concealer in my bronzer category. For um, palettes, Milani used to not sell a concealer. <laughs> they just had a concealer palette. So this is con Correct Conceal and Perfect. And um, this is actually really, really nice. I haven't used it in a while and because I just have such a huge selection, but it's really nice. And um, the, the texture is really creamy. You've got a dark salmon, like a, a Benefit Erase Paste color. Then you've got some lighter ones and one that's a little bit darker depending on your skin tone. Again, it's not meant for people with more melatonin than me, but um, not bad. I don't think they sell. I really don't think they sell this anymore. The one I haven't, I also haven't tried this one. This one I just picked up off Amazon. Um, like I said, I've been, I've been on the hunt for a really good concealer that I love that can be something that I wear every single day or every other day, something like that. And I really wanted something that ha had a built-in corrector with it. So this is just off Amazon. Um, but again, I haven't tried it, but I love that it has a white so you can lighten any of the other ones. This is the sleek one. This is the one that's currently in my shop, my stash. This, I don't like it. I don't like the concealer um, at all. It's so drying. I've tried um, these three colors for concealer and this one, especially for like a corrector. They look wet, but they're really dry. But these two colors are beautiful as a bronzer slash um, contour, these are actually the color the color I have on um, today, and I really, really love it. Ooh, I look kind of scary in this mirror up close and personal. Hopefully I don't look this bad on camera. <laughs> 
Anyway, so that is, there I am. That is the sleek palette that I'm currently using. Um, I'm not gonna declutter this because that's kind of what's happening through my shot mustache. I'm gonna use it and if I don't like it, I'll give it away. But again, they, I haven't tried this one for a bronzer yet. I may add that in. It's worth it just for those three because I really love a cream bronzer and I don't wanna have to buy. That's actually something I actually don't own a lot of in the mix. My color correctors. These are all the color correctors I have. My most favorite are the two from LA Girl. And I also love the Ulta. I thought I had one, a peach one from Ulta. Maybe I already used it up. I don't see one, maybe I used it up. Maybe it's also, maybe it could be this color, but um, I love this Ulta um, Full Coverage Concealer Formula. If you can get it, the regular concealer formula, it's really, really nice. So is the corrector, I have a yellow and I have a peach, but these two from LA Girl are so good. This whole concealer formula is just so, so good. I have these two from Catrice. I don't know that I'll ever wear this green one. Um, the problem is I just have so much redness and this is really kind of dry. Um, it is also very bright green. Maybe I can wear this like around my nose and stuff where I have some other redness that's not just on my cheeks. Um, which is what I bought it for. I mean, I don't want a gray cast underneath my foundation. This one is the peach one. Then I have the um, Conceal and Correct. This is in peach as well. This is actually brand new. I haven't tried that one either. This is um, Clamista. I wonder if this came from Shop Miss A. I've never heard of this brand before in my life. But again, a yellow one, because I thought it might help cancel out the darkness under my eyes. And then this one from Joa. This is their all brushed up creamy concealer. I consider this more of a color corrector because of the darker peachy kind of cool tone um, that it is. So I can put those away. So from some of my least favorite concealers, um, this is another one I haven't tried yet either. This is the Revolution Pro Ultimate Coverage Crease Proof Concealer. So that's new, I haven't tried. Um, I don't think I've tried this Morphe one either. This is the Morphe concealer in, um, I don't know, there's no color. The lightest. <laughs> uh, I think those are the only other ones I haven't tried. I don't think I've also tried this um, e.l.f. camo. This is the regular camo concealer. Number one, I think it's way too dark, but I kept it, I mean way too light, but I kept it to be a mixer. Did I use this one? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what I've used and what I haven't used. I think those are the ones that I haven't used. So the ones I have in front of you are the ones that I honestly just don't care for, but I'm keeping them around. Again, I can use them for mixing, etc. The worst offenders are these two. This is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This is the original one. I've had this in going all year. Um, I've been using this on my lid. Um, I have been mixing it with the Catrice um, Clamouflage. You can see where I started with both of these. These actually look pretty good together. I have to use them sparingly because they are kind of drying. But as long as I have a very hydrated under eye and I have um, like put on an under eye primer and made sure to put on under eye cream, I can get away with wearing the two of these together mixed. This one from Milani, I actually had an unopened one that I sent to Project Beauty Share. This is just so, like it's so drying. It makes me look like a, a sidewalk in Arizona in 200 degree heat. It's just so drying. The same way with the Conceal and Define. This is, I mean, it's very much like their foundation where it's just a bit too drying on me. And then the opposite is this one from 
um, Lottie London. This one is the opposite. This one is very, very, very wet, very sticky. It reminds me of the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I bought that and I immediately had to get rid of it because it's just too sticky. Now the Tarte one that I showed you, that has a little bit of hydration to it, but to me it doesn't come across as sticky as much as this one, this one does. It's, it's, whew, it's bad. Um, let's see. Showed you those. So I don't remember if I've used this jewelry or not. Maybe yes, maybe no. I honestly don't remember. But it, these are some that I definitely want to play with, and this is the reason why I have set up my shop, my stash, my monthly makeup basket, whatever you want to call it, where I'm working on two foundations and two concealers at the exact same time. That way I can use them, decide if it's something that I want to keep, if it's something that I can feel like I can work with, um, is it something that just needs to go in the trash. That's kind of really why I'm doing it like that. Plus it's also just to get, <laughs> get through um, my concealers and my foundations. Um, some of my favorite hydrating ones, again, I love this one from LA Girl. I do enjoy the e.l.f. Um, hydrating concealer. I love the flower. Of course, the flower has now has lighter colors that I've been itching to get, but I'm holding off on it. Um, I do enjoy the Pretty Fresh and then the two Makeup Revolution. This is the XX Revolution and this is the Conceal and Hydrate. Um, the one I'm using right now on my Shop My Stash is this NYX Born to Glow. I honestly think I'm going to have this done by the end of the month because there's just basically no product in it. It has 0.17 fluid ounces in comparison to this one, which has 0.4. Um, these by Wet n Wild that have... 0.29. I mean, this just has barely anything in it. Even the one from Shop Miss A, I think, has more um, concealer in it. So I really think I'm going to end up finishing this one up. These are okay. They're not my favorite. Actually, this one from Joa isn't too bad. The color is just a little dark. This is the Revolution Pro Full Cover Camouflage. I believe this is the one that's supposed to dupe the Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. With this one, I don't find it to be quite as sticky as the other one. Um, so it's something that I can get use of and I still enjoy, but it's not something that is going to, you know, I feel like I have to powder because as you guys saw, I only have four and they all pretty, pretty dewy. <laughs> this is the one from BH Cosmetics. This is just a basic run of the mill concealer. I don't love it, I don't hate it. And then this one by L'Oreal Infallible, I actually enjoy the concealer more than I do the foundation. So those are my concealers and my setting sprays. Like I said, I will have um, the total dollar amount at the end and then on my spreadsheet will be linked down below. You may see some things move around, the numbers may change a little bit depending on um, what I put where. But that's it guys, thank you so much for joining me. Let me know if you have any questions. Like I said, there are no links to any of the products because I don't do affiliate links. But um, again, the spreadsheet will be down below so you can see if there's any that you may want. So I will talk to you soon. Have a great day. Bye for now.